second quarter started last month, April, right? So April, May, June is second quarter. Second quarter 2023, we are releasing our staking, arbitrage, and test wrap platforms. Third quarter 2023, we are releasing the remittance platform and the futures trading platform. Everybody's hearing this for the first time. Everybody is hearing this for the first time. Okay, let me let me let me stay a bit on this. So um those who have been with us for for long knew that there was a time we launched an automated trading platform, but for some reasons um the platform did not work. And these are the reasons why it did not work. One, we hired multiple independent traders who were not coordinating with themselves, who also have different trading ideologies and strategies. So many times the tradings were the trading were conflicting. That's one. Two, we were charging a monthly subscription for the platform, which made it really difficult. Because what then happens is, in a period of bear markets, right, or when the market is heavily manipulated, like it was at the time we launched, when you are charging a subscription, what then happens is, if in a particular month, users did not make a profit that is higher than the monthly subscription, chances are they're not going to pay another they're not, they're not going to pay another subscription. Right? So um, those were the two reasons why the project did not work. One was that we launched it in a bear market. We are, not just a bear market, we launched it when, <laughs> quote and unquote, the crypto market was under attack. Heavy manipulations were going on. You couldn't trade long, you couldn't trade short. It was just total chaos. So, so because of that, the subscription model did not work. And then number two, like I said, we had multiple, we, we didn't have um, coordination among the traders. So now we went, when we recalled back the project, we went to the drawing board, Figured out why it did because that is an amazing product, right? So there's no problem with the product. There was just a problem with the implementation. So we went back to the drawing board and said, okay, why did it not work? We factored why it did not work. And now we are relaunching it in a better way. Now, when we let me show you how we are relaunching it. So for the future trading platform, there is no subscription. All right, so the same staking that gives you access to arbitrage, arbitrage trading gives you access to futures trading. So the way the futures trading work for those who were not here when we, when we launched earlier is that your money will be on a centralized exchange, any of the ex, any of the tier one exchange, Binance, Bybit, BitGet, KuCoin, you know, but I'm going to choose one. I'm just giving you a couple um exchange but i don't want to tell you the particular one we're going to use right so you you um your trading capital will be in that exchange you are not giving us uh, your money right at no time do we want to be in possession of your money remember that trust us and permissionless so you put your money on the exchange connect to our platform via api all right now the API gives us access to trade your trading capital. We cannot withdraw from your account. We can only trade the money that is in your account. So as our traders are trading on their own platform, it is replicating on your platform, all right? So that's how it works. So you are not paying any subscription to assess that. Once you have an active staking, which gives you access to the arbitrage platform, it also gives you access to the futures trading platform. So your staking is not just going to allow you to trade arbitrage, it's also going to allow you to trade futures. Somebody happy? All right. 
So that is going to launch third quarter 2023. And then fourth quarter 2023, we are going to launch the crypto debit card, the multi-currency wallet. For now, we have partnership for dollar and euro, right? So you're going to have a dollar, a dollar account and a euro account. So if you have people abroad, maybe you, you do a service, you render a service, and they want to pay you in dollars or euro, you can just send them your your um address your bank your bank um the bank details the same way you send your local bank details you send your bank details and they will send you to them it's going to be like a local transfer so if somebody from the u.s want to send you money and you want to send it dollar just copy the bank details of the dollar account send to them and it will be a local transaction for them if it is euro just um send it there and then from dollar you can move it to your debit card, um, um, you know, from dollar or euro, you can move it to your debit card or however you want to do that, all right? So the multi-currency wallet, the mobile app, and our utility platform, where you'll be able to buy airtime data, uh, pay for your um, satellite, television, waste, uh, waste disposal, water bill, you know, those utility stuff, right? So you'll be able to use your crypto to pay for this stuff. So all of these four things that I've mentioned uh, will be going live fourth quarter 2023. And then first quarter, now, everything I have said to you now are all in our proof of concept phase. You remember that phase I talked about? Yeah. So everything I, I've, I've talked about to you now are all in our proof of concept phase. First quarter 2024 is when we are entering into our scaling space, right? That is when we are we expect for Wiki to have a whole lot of price action that we actually make you guys a whole lot of money, all right? So it means that, guys, right now is not the time to take profit. Now is the time to accumulate as many Wiki as possible. Buy as many with as you can buy and stake it so that you can be earning more with it. As you are earning commissions, you can sell some in uh, uh, sell some and take care of yourself. The other ones buy with it with it and stake. I'm telling you this: the advantage you are going to have is that you got into the witty ecosystem in the proof of concept phase. It will be so painful and unfortunate if we enter the scaling phase and you don't have enough with it. It will be so, so unfortunate. So this is the time to delay gratification. That hunger will not kill you. Those bills, those expenses will not kill you. Delay gratification and kill lack and poverty once and for all. All right? So this is not the time to say, ah, if I don't do this, black. See, it's all about discipline. Financial freedom is all about discipline. If there was no witty, those bills, those expenses, you would still have found a way to take care of them. All right? So don't put all your problems on witty. When you do that, you destroy the opportunity that witty has given you to achieve financial freedom. All right? And then you have people who will tell you have been in witty since 2022, and now we are in scaling phase, and they don't even have up to 10 witty. What a joke. Everybody, everybody with us now should have nothing less than 1,000 witty by the time we are entering that scaling phase. Everybody right now in the witty community should have nothing less than 1,000 witty minimum. As in, as in, it's not like 1,000 WT, you're not, you not part of the big boys in the, in the WT ecosystem. It's just, that is the minimum. Like, you know, so when we hear you have 1,000 WT, you're like, okay, you try. But really, this phase, the proof of concept phase is accumulation phase. The time to take profit is scaling. It is scaling phase. That is the time where the big money is going to come, all right? So here, the next round of products I want to mention are the products that will be released in our scaling phase. 
first quarter of 2024, that is January, February, March, all right? We are releasing the arbitrage as a service platform. And then also we are adding Witty to the remittance platform and Witty to the crypto debit card platform. Now, the reason is that we want to create as much balls as possible before we leave on a tier one exchange. All right. So we do not, we want, we have um, strategically, you know, planned this out so that our balls will be gradual but very steady. All right. So when we when we get close to this on a tier one exchange, is when we want to create all the balls. So we're going to do that with arbitrary service platform, with the unlimited and crypto debit card. This is part of what is going to attract the traders on the tier one exchange we are listing to actually get involved and buy with it. And then of course, the release of the launch pad and then listing on a tier one exchange. So first quarter 2024, release of arbitrary and service platform and um, adding with it, to the remittance and crypto debit cards. Second quarter 2024, we are listing on the tier one exchange. We are also releasing the launch pad. Right. And then um, fourth quarter of 2024, our crypto payment gateway, our checkout system, and our fiat payment orchestration will go live. Fourth quarter 2024. Second quarter 2025. We are releasing our multi signature decentralized wallets. Fourth quarter 2025, we are releasing a crypto accounting and bookkeeping system. So, these ones now are the B2B products. You know, I told you uh, earlier on that we have products for the B2C, which is individuals, and products for the B2B, which is other companies. So, so these are the B2B products, right? And then, second quarter 2026 is the crypto lending platform. So we have a roadmap from 2023 to 2026, right? So guys, the bottom line of this is, now that you understand what the roadmap is, don't eat your chicken. Let that chicken lay eggs so that you have passive income tomorrow, right?